Hello everyone, this is Bacholi with Archeon. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the computer in the game. So this is the uh, all-in-one computer. It has a screen. It has 12 data ports to communicate with other components. Right, right now it's connected to the battery for power. Okay. Uh, we can uh, use the uh, uh, data spool here, it's the blue one, to connect it to other components. Right. So first off, we could connect it to the battery directly because the battery has a data port, right? Uh, this is for sending uh, data like, uh, uh, you know, the current capacity of the battery throughput, things like that, right? Uh, so we can hit code to add a new program, but first off, let's talk about the hard drive bay, right? Uh, in creative mode, when you add a computer component, it will start with a hard drive already there, right? So if you hit F on the hard drive, there you see the hard drive is there, right? So if I remove it from there, uh, it says, please insert HDD, right? So the hard drive, bay, you know, you can add it from your inventory. In adventure mode, you, uh, you're going to have to craft your hard drive and then add it in the main hard drive bay here. Uh, now you're gonna have to create a program so you hit F while aiming at code and then you get an IDE here you can resize that right? so this is Xenon code IDE uh, you can uh, add files and programs to that uh, computer so let's first create a new program we're gonna name it test and then it starts with a node-based visual system like this. We can first delete all the nodes. We select them and hit delete key. Um, and because it starts with an example like that, right? So if you hit the right click on it, uh, you can add things there. You can add new nodes. So let's uh, first do input low voltage battery, right? So we want to add an input for that. And then we can select the channel that we want. So let's see uh, voltage first. Uh, we're gonna want to um, print that in the console, right? So there's a console underneath. We can output and print. It's like a console log, right? So we can just connect that and then save the program with Control S, right? Now the program is not running right now, right? So if we move that away, just click in the game. We see the program is there. It's detected, but it's not running. So we have to aim at it and hit F. Right, and now the program is running, right? And you can see in the console that it's actually displaying the battery's current voltage, and it's going down right now slowly because we're actually consuming some power, and the voltage will go down as we use up the battery, right? Uh, we can select uh, state of charge and save that, and this is going to be a ratio between zero and one the current state of charge so this is basically 99.93 percent right now right you can select the throughput so we see we are consuming 30 watts right so this is the print and the battery uh, uh, as the input right we can delete those we're gonna add something more fun you can close that uh, so we don't have to connect the battery to the data but you know we can do it if we want to get some data from the battery but let's add a lamp and a switch to give a better example. So let's get our switch here in our inventory. And let's find a lamp. We have a lamp here. Right? We're going to add the lamp to that uh, ceiling here. And we're going to add a switch to, uh, let's, let's, add it, uh, let's add it here on the other side. Uh, we're going to connect the switch to the computer with a data spool that's connected to port 0 here. Let's connect our lamp to port 6, like this. And we're also going to have to connect our lamp to our battery with the uh, low voltage spool, like this. Now, we could connect the switch directly to the lamp to turn it on but what's the fun in that right we're gonna create a program that passes that through it right so we're gonna open up code delete that add as the input the toggle button and the output we're gonna select the lamp 
right? Now, uh, with uh, Xenon Code IDE in nodes mode here, you can uh, you actually have multiple channels, right? The lamp specifically has a RGB channels. If you use it through the computer, you're gonna have to fill these out, right? So you're gonna have to write 255, right? And all the channels here right? uh, the, to, to get the uh, to get a white color, basically. And then you can connect the output from the toggle button to the on channel of the lamp. And you can see the code that it generates in the background. Right? You can save that, control S. And, uh, and then, so the switch connected through the computer and it goes through the lamp. And you can turn on the lamp like this, by right? aiming at the switch and pressing F. Right? And now the lamp is on. You can turn it off. You know, and the computer ultimately controls that, right? So you can add things like delays and things like that, right? Uh, so the node system here uh, is quite advanced. There's a lot of things you can do with that uh, to control components, right? And there's code that's generated in the background. You can also switch to pure code. Uh, so this is going to be for another tutorial. That's it for this one. See you in the next one.